Hey guys, it's Thomas right here. Today I'm making this video to explain you how to correct your slick if the horizon is not leveled anymore. So basically, uh, this axis. So if you're filming and uh, the horizon is always shifted on the right or on the left, uh, it's like the gyroscope, it might be a, a, a difference in temperature uh, between the two places you, you were shooting. So, uh, to, to solve this issue, you will have to, um, to calibrate the six axis of the accelerometers. Not the gyroscope this time, but the accelerometers. What does it mean? That means that you will have to tell the camera where are the six zeros, like the zeros, of each axis. So what are the axis, this axis? This one is the first one, and you rotate. This one is another one. This one is another one. This one is the fourth one. This one is the fifth one. This one is the sixth one. So, uh, in order to say uh, to the camera that those axes are the zero, you will have to uh, to put the different faces of the camera onto a level uh, plate. So for example, a table, or uh, here I decided to use uh, the slick box, but you need first to make sure that this, um, this plate is leveled. So to do so, you can use uh, your iPhone. Uh, in your iPhone, there is a, an app uh, to, uh, to, to know if, uh, if the, the, the plate is shifted uh, or not. So just use your, your iPhone uh, to, to, to do so, or if you don't have an iPhone, I guess uh, there is also with Android. Anyway, so, uh, so the goal here would be, would be to use the, the uh, how to say, all the, the, the sides of the, of the lens here, uh, either if it's a GoPro 5 or any GoPros, uh, and put them um, on the top of the box like this, you know, like this, like this, like this, and then like this, and then up, like this. So, um, how to start the procedure with slick? So you need to power on your slick, but you need to keep pressing the, the down arrow, not the one in front of the, um, by the LED, but the one close to the, the battery uh, pack. So you need to press this arrow and power on your stick. This will power on your stick, but with the motors stopped. So you will be able to do the calibration as you want. But your stick is powered on. Then uh, you need to put stick in the first position, which is, for example, this one. So you put the camera and the bottom part of the lens on top of the leveled plate. Perfectly up and you keep pressed the up. you keep pressed the the mode button for roughly uh, five seconds. Two, three, four. Then you can hear some beep and the beep ends. So that means this axis is calibrated. Then you rotate your camera like this and here you try to level it as much as you can. Only the camera is important here. The speed can move, it's not important, but the camera has to be steady. And you press five seconds. Up. The beep ends. You're good to go. Then it's this axis. So for this one, you can put the camera like this. Five seconds. And you're good to go. And the last one is like this. 
put your camera like this and you press 5 seconds and you're good to go then the two last one like this and like this so like this you need to try to avoid to put the motors on the box okay we're good five seconds okay Beep. and the last one you put the camera on the lens and five seconds all right the calibration is done um, what is important during uh, before this procedure that I forgot to tell you is that uh, the camera needs to be well tightened because if, it, if the camera moves during the procedure um, uh, it, it won't um, make a great uh, calibration of the accelerometers so make sure that your camera is well tightened uh, then you can turn off your slick turn it back on all right, and now your horizon is perfectly level. Enjoy!